We'll move on to uh, John Warsfold, Caro. An intriguing speculation. I know, Eddie, you were very strong on this on, uh, on Triple M Radio earlier in the week. But let's just have a listen to some of John Warsfold's comments, which left some in the media and some former players staggered. Yeah, I understand that uh, Essendon people um, think that Essendon should be better, but they've also got to understand that the competition challenges clubs now to... Um, work to the same rules. So the same rules of the draft and the salary cap. And no one team has any more right to be successful quicker than any other team just because they're a big-name club. So it's not quite as strong as uh, jo um, Mick Malthouse when he left Carlton and literally napalmed the joint. But um, <laughs> there was a very strong comment, Ed, and you were very strong about it on Triple M on Monday. Um, I... I felt he was having a dig at shortcuts Essendon has taken in the past. And I talk about the history with the salary cap and more recently and more potently um, the, the drug cheating scandal. The drug scandal. Yeah, well, I heard it for the first time on the radio and uh, I was taken aback so much so that I asked for it to be played a second time so I could digest it. And, yeah, that's exactly what I thought as well, Carol. And I've, I've subsequently checked it out and, and I don't think you and I are too far from exactly what he w was making the point there. Look, he's been under pressure from a lot of Essendon people in recent times and I think uh, John Walsfold's exit interview was pretty strong and direct. I also understand tonight Tom Brown reported that uh, he may not do the post-game interview on uh, after Essendon's last game that uh, Ben Rutten might do that. So, clearly, there's a little bit of unrest there. But, uh, Lordia, I want to ask you. I mean, he is saying that for a long, long time, Essendon have looked for, really, the 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 well, the easy out, haven't they? They've, uh, they've looked at, at something rather than the, the total rebuild. And there's people talking about, you know, whether the Bombers are sort of the new Richmond. And that was uh, something that was mentioned on the radio today. Um, well, you're, you're right in there. You see it. Is that, a, is that a fair comment going out the door? Is that actually sage advice that people should listen to? Or is it one that you give him a clip on the way out the door and say, well, good riddance, you're a West Coast Eagles bloke anyway. What would you know about the Bombers? No, I, I think, Eddie, that um, it's not just Essendon people who should think they should be better. I think everyone would say, shouldn't everyone say that Essendon should be better than what they're producing this year? Oh, I don't think it should be laid on. We, we're probably uh, voicing it more vocally because we've, we're passionate about the club. But I don't reckon you'd, you'd cop the way Essendon's playing if you're the president of that football How club. How long has he been going. there for? Four years? Uh, five. Five, five years. And, and they played in but a final. That's hardly patience. Yeah. That's hardly impatience. They played in a final last year, Caro, and he is yeah. changing his narrative by the week to suit, to suit himself. And I, I think that if you only would have to go back four or five weeks, we will be a very good side very soon. And yep. then it goes to that. So that, that's a frustration. If you stacked, stuck to the narrative saying we're a long way off, we're still years away, maybe we shouldn't have bought in Shield, Stringer, Smith because that's not where our list was at, I go, OK, they've got it wrong. But when you're changing by the week, that's what is irritating Essendon, Ka Essendon people. Cara, do you think everyone at Essendon was aligned in keeping John Walsfold on for one more year? No, I, I don't. I don't think... I think that um, they, they looked at moving him on and I think even Xavier Campbell looked at moving him on and bringing in a senior person to help to help the new coach, Ben Rutten, so let Rutten for coach one year. So let Rutten coach this year, yep. Yep, with someone like Alan Richardson over him. I think Daniel Richardson was very keen, the head of football, to um, give Ben Rutten a clear run at it. And I'm not sure that um, those two ended up being quite aligned as they should have been when the final decision was made. And they just felt that in the end... Well, Craig Hutchison said the other night they didn't have the guts to sack him. I think that it, it would have looked really bad to give him a, a payout, give someone a payout as a club who was trying to raise money for other things and they felt they owed him some more respect but in, in hindsight it was a bad decision. Certainly a messy finish to 2020 for the Essendon Football Club.